Hi, I'm Louise Elizabeth and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through Edge, which is a mobile cryptocurrency wallet. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today and if you do then please give me a thumbs up as it really helps me to grow my channel and understand what kind of content you enjoy. So first of all, if we go on to the site, which is edgesecure.co, and what I'll do is I'll put a link to it below as well so that you can take a look at the site for yourselves. You can see here that it is a mobile wallet and it's available on the likes of iOS and Android. And it's a multi-asset cryptocurrency wallet, so it supports the likes of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Dash, and many others as well. You can also go through and exchange your cryptocurrency. So if, for example, you want to exchange from the likes of Bitcoin to Ethereum, you can do that all within the app. And they also show some features which are coming soon. So there will be an in-app buy, sell and more where you'll be able to go through and exchange your fiat money for the financial assets of the future. And when you go through and create your account, which I'll take you through in a moment, all you need to have is a username and password. And you don't have to go through and do things like your recovery phrases like you do with many other types of wallets. So they state here that the old way was the fact that you'd have to go through, have several apps to manage multiple assets. It was difficult to use backups. There's no auto sync between the different devices and no forgiveness for user mistakes. Now they're stating that the edge way is the fact that you have one app for your assets. You can back up with just a username and password. You can seamlessly log in using multiple devices and it's easy, secure with a pin or touch ID. I'm gonna be downloading mine onto iOS now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch mine over to actually showing you on my mobile phone so that you can see what it looks like in a live environment. So if you are downloading onto iOS, you obviously need to go into the App Store. And if you type in Edge Wallet into the search function, it should then appear with Edge Bitcoin Wallet, where you can then go through and download. The first thing that we receive is a message that states, Let, let's get started by creating your account login. You'll choose a username and password, which we'll use to encrypt your account. Not even Edge has access to your information, so you have full and complete control over your digital assets. So let's just click on to get started. So first of all, we need to go through and create a username. So I'm just gonna go through and type my, my username in now. Then it's asking us to put in a password, which is used to log in. So just putting this in now, just to note here the fact that it must be at least 10 characters. You must have at least one lowercase letter. You must have at least one uppercase letter. And you must also have at least one number. Now, the thing I quite like about this app is the fact that it does come up and tell you almost kind of how secure your password is. And it gives you an indication of how long it would take someone to go through and crack your password and then you would click on to next. Then what we need to do is set a four digit pin. So this will help us go through and do quick re-logins. Then it states, good job, hang tight while we go through and create and secure your account. So it's now going through creating that wallet for us and encrypting it. So now it states that we're almost done. Let's write down your account information and then it gives us a little bit of a warning. So it states that if you lose your account information, you'll lose access to your funds permanently so keep that offline somewhere, keep it somewhere safe and away from any potential harm. Then just taking us through the last step. So it makes us go through and acknowledge a few things. So we're just stating that we understand that my funds are held securely on the device and not by edge. We also understand that if we lose the device or uninstall the app, the digital assets can only be recovered with that username and password. And the fact that if we do lose that username and passwords, Edge will not be able to recover my account unless I set up a password recovery. And what I'll do is I'll take you through that shortly as well. So once we've ticked that, we can then confirm and finish. So now that our wallet has been created, I'm just gonna take you through this main screen and show you an understanding of how the kind of screens flow within each other. So we can see that we're within the wallet section. It states the title of that in the title bar. And we can also see that in the bottom left-hand corner. Now just taking a look at the very bottom part of the dashboard, we also have the ability to request, to send, and to exchange. And I'll take you through each of those options in a moment. So first up, what you will see is you will see your total balance. And if you wanna go through and hide that balance, for example, if you're showing the app to someone else and you don't want them to be able to see your balance, you can go through, click onto where it says total balance, and then it will then hide that balance for you. To then show that balance again, you then simply just click onto show balance. So first of all, when you go through and set up your account, you're provided with two different wallets automatically. So that is an Ethereum wallet and also a Bitcoin wallet. 
and it'll show you any account balances that you have in here. So where it shows that zero are just above the word Ethereum, it would then show any account balance that you have that relates to your Ethereum wallet. And it would be exactly the same with Bitcoin. If you do have other assets that you wanna store within this wallet, what you can do is create a new wallet. And the way that you go through and you do that is by clicking on the, to the plus icon. You then have the ability to go through and choose a wallet type. So from this list here, you can see that you have the likes of Bitcoin Cash, you have Bitcoin with Segwit, you have Bitcoin without Segwit, you have Dash and you have Ethereum. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select Dash and then what it does is it comes up and making me go through and choose my fiat currency. Now I'm from the UK, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select GBP. And what I can then do is I can actually rename the wallet. So automatically it will come up with my Dash. Once I'm happy with that, it then makes me go through double check the wallet information and submit. And once that's gone through and created, you'll, you'll then see it appear in your wallet's dashboard. Now just taking you through the vertical three dots that you see appearing against each different type of cryptocurrency wallet. So in here, you can do several things. So the first thing you can do is you can sort. You can also rename your wallet. So like I said, by default, it always calls them my ether, for example. However, you can go through, make it something a little bit more meaningful. Now in this example, I'm gonna go through and just change this to my Ethereum. You can also delete a wallet. So if you no longer require that wallet to appear within your wallet section, you do have that ability to delete. You can resync. So if you believe that your balances aren't quite accurate, you can resync that value. You can also show your master private key. So if you want to reveal the private seed for your Ethereum wallet, for example, what you would need to do is go through and confirm your password initially, and then you can click on to get seed. So you'll then be presented with your seed and you can also share this. So you could copy this at that stage or you could send it somewhere. You also have the ability to manage tokens. And in here you can select which tokens you would like to be displayed within the wallet. I'm gonna select Wings. And if I click on to save. Now in relation to your other wallets, when you click on those three vertical dots on the right hand side of each wallet, you will receive some slightly different options when you're going through different types of wallets. Now for example, if I click onto my Bitcoin, you can see here that I have the ability to split Bitcoin Cash. So now I'm just gonna take you onto the request tab in the bottom hand section of the app. And it will then ask me to choose a wallet to transfer funds to. And I'm gonna select my Ethereum. And what it will then do is it will show me the fact that I'm in my Ethereum wallet, so that's where I'm requesting funds to. It then gives me an ETH to GBP conversion in terms of what one ETH is equal to. It also provides me with a QR code and it provides me with my receiving wallet address. So if, for example, I want to request one Ethereum, it will then give me that conversion into GBP again in this section. I could then go through, use my QR code, but what I can also do is I can copy my wallet receiving address. When I click on to copy in the bottom left-hand corner, it will then come through and it will copy that address to the clipboard. And you also have the ability to share in here. So you could share this to email or whatever option that you require from here. And now just going through to the send section on that bottom bar. So from here, you can send funds from your Ethereum wallet. Now, one thing to mention is the fact that your camera will automatically open at this stage because what it will allow you to do is scan QR codes. But you also have the ability to select an address. So you can send to a public address. It will automatically pick up any copied address into the section here, or you can put in the public address or the private key at this stage. Now within our wallet section, we can also click onto the wallet name. So if for example, I click onto my Bitcoin, it then provides me with my individual Bitcoin wallet information. So it provides me with my Bitcoin balance and it shows me that in GBP as well. I can also request from this section and I can send from here as well. Now just taking a look at the exchange, which is in the bottom right of your app. So they have a very simple exchange in here that allows you to exchange from one cryptocurrency to another. So the first thing we have to do is we have to choose a wallet to exchange funds from. So I've selected my Bitcoin wallet. Now it'll ask me to choose a wallet to exchange funds to. So I'm going from and now I'm going to. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to exchange my Bitcoin for Dash. And in here, if I wanted to state that I wanted to exchange my Bitcoin for 0.1 Dash, Again, it does that conversion, gives me an understanding of how much GBP that's gonna cost me, and it then does the conversion of how much Bitcoin I actually need to exchange into Dash. 
And if you did have funds within your chosen wallets, you could then take you through that exchange process. And any funds that you have appearing in your Bitcoin wallet will then appear in your Dash. Now I'm gonna take you through the settings now. So if you wanna go through and change any settings, so from here you can see that you can change your password, change your PIN, set up two-factor, and go through your password recovery. The first thing you need to do is you need to tap to unlock your account settings. So if we click onto that, it'll then ask us to confirm our password. So it's just going through and giving us a little extra level of security, just ensuring it is you that is actually going through and changing those settings. And we then have the ability to use these options. So what do we have in terms of our options? So we have an auto log off after a certain period of time, which you can then go through and change. You have a default currency. You can set your pin re-login. You can also use your touch ID. And with regards to the different types of accounts, you can change the denominations from here also. So that was a very brief overview of how you go through and use the Edge mobile wallet. I quite like the fact that it is a mobile wallet that does support quite a few different types of cryptocurrencies. I also like the fact that you just need to use your username and password without having to remember all the different recovery phases. I think it'll be really good as well when you do have the functionality to exchange your fiat money for different types of cryptocurrency assets as there's not an awful lot of other mobile wallets that allow you to do so. So I hope you enjoyed this video today and if you did then please give me a like. If you have any questions with regards to the Edge wallet then please feel free to put them in the comments below. And if you'd like to see more tips, reviews and tutorials then please hit subscribe. Thanks and I'll see you soon.